Jimmy what, what Jimmy? Why was he I, driving? I, I got an email communique. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's, here's the title of it. Hey, Jared, thank you. Oh, thanks, Jared. How High Highness uh, out-tipped LeBron James last night. Yeah. I guess he meant His Highness. <laughs> but His Highness apparently out-tipped <laughs> LeBron James in a restaurant. <laughs> His highness is an ass. <laughs> can we, can we get him on? It's been way too long. I got that that same email right. yesterday. So he, he Ian's he, big scoop is that he tipped <laughs> more than LeBron James did at the same restaurant. Hey man, the show's gonna get busy with guests. Can we get him on? We gotta get Ian. On. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll shoot him an email. Yeah, he out tipped um, LeBron James last night. No, well, it wasn't even on the same night. Right, he like, said the waitress told him. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> LeBron had tipped three dollars after eating a lot, and oh, His man. Highness left a thirteen dollar tip. <laughs> LeBron, that's big Left three bucks. No, but here's, excuse me, here's the uh, the headline on his website: <laughs> IUC World Exclusive. His Highness versus the King. How I out tipped LeBron James last night by more than quadruple. <laughs> That's a headline. So that means he, he tipped twelve to fifteen. Thirteen dollars, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. And that's his story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love Ian. Wow. I'm, I'm a huge fan of I Ian. Used to, I He's used one of those guys, him. you put him on the radio, people either love him or hate him. Yeah, oh, I yeah. used to totally be on that. I, I just can't stand him. Really? Uh, now I'm, now I'm, I'm, all I'm in. definitely all in. I'm all so in. Jews tip better than black people. <laughs> with a four to one margin. Is that what we're saying? Mm. That's what I'm saying. We got uh, Ian, and he, uh, he's catching a flight in a few minutes. So. Okay. Ian Halperin, cool. congratulations on your big exclusive, sir. His Jim Norton highness. just uh, uh, let us in on it there. Hey, first of all, to you guys, it's his highness. And I'll tell yes. you one thing. I, I make King LeBron look like uh, just regular people now. And I always said this, you know, when you're with people to become truly great, one has to stand with the people, not above them. But LeBron James, he stands below them because... This guy's a cheapskate, man. Yeah. He, he makes he makes Jews look, you know, like menches, this guy. Oh. He goes into a restaurant in South Beach. It's called the Big Pink. Have you heard of that joint? No, no the Big Pink? Yeah. I've never it's been there. A, uh, it's a trendy diner. Uh-huh. It's, um, I might have actually diner. been there. Wait a minute. I was, I was probably drunk. Mm. I think I was there, though, because I remember going to a trendy diner. Down there. You know, they, they have about 400 things on the menu there. It's a spectacular menu. It's open till 3 in the morning. Yep, I, I like was there. After the heat game. I went to the heat game the other night against Indiana, and there's they should have blown out the heat. They were winning by something like 13, 14 points entering the fourth quarter, and then they just collapsed. I mean, I, I would have fired the coach just based on that performance. You don't lose a game when you're up 13. I don't care if you're playing Ch Will Chamberlain, Magic Johnson, Dr. J., and uh, you know, way to keep it current. Together. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> so uh, his, I hate to mix up the sports. But, so His Highness, uh, I got to yeah, ask you though. The number one fucking show in the world, man. Oh. I, I, that's my next exclusive. Ah. You know, my barometer for success is anyone who lasts more than ten years. You've passed the test, and I, I firmly Jesus, congratulate you. Thank you, sir. You. Passed that thank a you, few sir. years ago already. I want to ask you, though, about this tipping thing, which yeah. is it's a big story. Um, how did you find out that he was a skinflint? All right. I go in after the game. I go to the Big Pink. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm with these two people from Chicago. One of them's a really smoking hot chick. Boobs like, of just course. sticking right out. And then uh, a friend of mine from South Beach. Right. Mm -hmm. He's a real estate agent. So we all go in and uh, start talking up the waitress because she was smoking hot, man. Yeah. The first thing I noticed is, you know, the panties sticking out a bit when she bends down. And, man, you know, I just wanted to give it to her right then and there, right from behind. She was, you would have loved her, Anthony. Oh, yeah. Really Great. hot blonde from Louisiana working in South Beach. So ah. we go in. And start talking to her up, and then she tells me LeBron was in here the other night, and she starts bitching, man. She says the guy had no class, he ate like a tiger, he only left a three-buck tip, she said. You know, and on a very expensive bill. What, what, what's she, a very expensive bill? i got to slow you down. Like a, a few hundred dollars? My, mine was sixty-five fifty-one. because when His Highness goes out, he picks up the tab for everyone. It's not an expensive place. I left 13 bucks on sixty-five fifty-one. He should have used his tip calculator. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I got to make Jews look good.
because, yeah, I do concede. And kill yourself. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the biggest wannabe Jew in the world, Madonna, she's a fucking cheapskate, man. I used to date her cook, and, she, you know, the cook told me, who was in your studio once, she said she's the biggest, and she said that on your show, she's a motherfucking cheapskate, you know, so uh. she wears the Kabbalah, you know, but she takes it to another extreme. And Bill Cosby's a notorious cheapskate. You know, Gwyneth Paltrow, apparently she uses the excuse she can't calculate what 15 or 18 percent of the bill is. So she's really way under. So tell her to do 10 percent um, twice. Right. Yeah, exactly, man. Just leave 20 percent and then take away a buck if you're uncomfortable leaving 20 percent. I, I, I know that, you know, when Anthony goes out, right, what do you leave, Anthony? I uh, always leave at least 20 <laughs> percent. It's, it's just easier to calculate that way. You take the bill, you move the decimal over one, and you double it, and that's what you fucking do. That's it. That's right. I, I, I always leave 20% plus my phone number if the chick's out. I did give a Oh, you. Oh, and shit, she Ian. Has since called. She has since called. I'm hoping to give it to her right from behind tonight, dude. She is smoking hot. But oh. anyhow, she was venting. Something tells me your tip would be smaller LeBron. than LeBron's in that situation. <laughs> no, I think my tip's bigger than LeBron. Seriously, uh, he, he, you know, apparently his schlong, you know, ain't too uh, pretty. But uh, oh, how'd you find that out? You know what I'm saying here? Is, out? She said <laughs> his bill was significant, significantly higher than mine. Ah, well, so you're busting it's apart. Nice. You're busting apart the uh, stereotype that uh, black people uh, people tip a lot. Is that well, what you're doing? Scotty Pippen, you know. Yeah. No tipping Pippen. No tipping Pippen. Is that what they called him? That's what his nickname is. Ah. See, all these guys go out, and they think it's carte blanche. Ah. Another guy's Ozzie Guillen, the manager of the White Sox. He'll go out, and he'll just disappear. It's I like thought they couldn't season. calculate the tip, so they said, I can't figure, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And they just go, there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so what are we going to do about LeBron? Is somebody going to show up and, uh, you know... Well, you did it, man. Gonna... You got the world exclusive. Yes. I, I'm sure the, the mainstream media is going to be all over this within the hour. Is it acceptable that this guy, what's he making, 16, 18 million a year before endorsements? Yeah. Leaves a three-buck tip. I mean, if I was David Stern, I would suspend the guy Ooh. for the rest of the season. Uh, when does uh, when does the book come out about his tipping habits? <laughs> the fucking the, the, do a book about the giant hardcover book <laughs> about you know, how he tips uh, poorly. When does that come out? No, I think I'm gonna you know. Put the book <laughs> and where's the bed in? Book. Yeah, and the movie. Yeah, I, I, and the movie. Right. The movie King James <laughs> doesn't tip. Right. LeBron James right now. All right, I'm saying it on your show. Oh, I'll go one on one with him in the ring. I'm not afraid of him. Like uh, boxing or something, or tipping? Yeah, I'll, I'll take him on. You know what? I'm going to do what you do. I'm going to take on Tyson. I, I'm not scared of him. Me and Tyson, Madison <laughs> Isn't Square that Garden. Great, yeah. <laughs> and it, see, anyone could do that, Ian. You, you've, you're challenging everyone, but it never gets back to them. Look, that's true. Me and fucking Brad Pitt. I don't need Madison Square Garden. Right on the street today. Just fucking. Tyson. If he's out there at ten o'clock today, I will fucking fight Brad Pitt. What about you, Ed? You got one? Damn. I'll fight Pitt. Pitt can't fight. Look, look. I think uh, Tyson's comeback one on one with LeBron in the ring. I'm saying Fedor. Fedor. I'm, Anthony's I'm, gonna challenge Fedor I'm, right now. Listen to this. Uh, if Fedor, if you're listening, uh, or your translator's listening, uh, right now, right now, come down to the studio. Literally and, right now. Uh, right now. <laughs> yeah. You're not, leave, and you're I not will, leaving any leeway. And I will, <laughs> I will uh, fight you. And I, I guarantee I win. I'll win. All right, but it has to be right now. Right now. Okay. Oh shit. Told me LeBron's oh, he's coming down the hall. Uh, quite that tired that night. She said he looked, uh, you know, he looked like he was run over by a truck. His eyes were bloodshot. Ah. Did he just play basketball? Well, who knows, man? You know, Miami, there's a lot of temptation. Who knows? You know? Everyone yeah. knows if he played <laughs> basketball. It's on TV. It's the news. It's. it's not, did he play basketball? Yeah, who knows? Who knows? You know, that's his, that's his personal business. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. <clears throat> Ian, you, comment? You know, I also put I also put this post up. But I furthered it with De Niro because uh, a waiter friend of mine told me last year that De Niro came into a joint in Beverly Hills and was uh, way too whiny. And he said, when De Niro got out of hand, we took things over in the kitchen. We were all rolling on the floor because 
They were putting in big <laughs> ones, goobers, gobbers. One guy pulled down his pants, peed into Nero's food, and then they witnessed De Niro chowing down on it. Wow, that's another exclusive? That's another exclusive, man. I, I like your exclusives it, today. You know, that's why, I, you know, when you go to a restaurant, man, I like to get a view of the kitchen. View of the kitchen. Hello? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, there he is. I thought he was. No, no. Uh, people want to talk to Ian. I'm just trying to figure out. Hold on there, Ian. Steve in Connecticut. Everyone yes. very yes. impressed by this, by this story. Yes, Steve, you're on scoop. with Ian. Uh, His Highness, excuse me. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Uh, His Highness, I got a real quick question. You're, you're still in Miami right now? I'm not going to tell you where I am. You know, I'm on the road, dude. He never does. He's undercover. I'm not. I'm sure okay, you but you're going. You got to be going back to Miami your, then today, right? What are you doing right? with your sad, sorry <laughs> life while I'm shooting a film? Everyone on my crew is a. He just casually said he's shooting a film. Yeah, we're he's shooting a now film. Now we have to ask him about his film. We all paled. We all paled in comparison <laughs> to you, Hyde. But my question is, if you're going to give it to this waitress tonight, either you have to be going back to Miami tonight, or you're just lying because you said you're getting on a plane today. His, so, no, his Highness likes to fly his prey around. You know, his highness can afford to fly his prey around. Oh, Have so you ever flown a chick from city to city and banged the hell out of her and treated her like a queen? What? What, what are you talking about? Talking about? <laughs> what was the last time you got laid? Uh, two days ago. I'm married, though, Ian. Sorry. Well, look. Do you look at other women? Yes, Ian, I do. Yes. Well, Every day. You, see? Have you had a threesome? With your wife, uh, you open the sh- no, you just in college, bro. Or, or do you take it now seriously? Yeah, yeah, I do. Sorry, bud. Well, you're an honorable man because about I'd say about ninety nine percent of the uh, people who walk down the aisle today, they don't even read the vows. They have no idea what they're saying. They're just repeating the vows like parrots, man. That's, that's <laughs> <what I'm laughs> real quick, though, you're, you're a genius at changing the story. So tonight oh, you're flying to Miami to bang this girl. Guy, <laughs> one you're flying tonight to bang this girl, right? That's so, the truth, so, right? Because I'm bagging this girl tonight. That's what you said. Can't get her from behind. This Louisiana waitress, right? So you have to be flying there tonight because you already jealous. said you're going to be on a plane. I'm not jealous. I'm just calling out your bullshit. <laughs> you don't believe shit. I love how the fans love fucking. Oh, I know. And they, they pick apart. Get, they pick apart everything. They can't he says. get enough of him, man. Sounds so frustrated in marriage, man. He's just all making the. Fuck. All right. Well, why don't we go to? Ju- and he's taking it out on me. Yep. Why don't we put a real fan of his highness on the line for once? This is John in Hoboken. John, his highness. Hey, Ian. Good, good talk to you. Um, so let me get hey, this right. LeBron with a three dollar tip. For maybe one person, you left fifteen for four, and you're bragging about it. Ooh, dude, do numbers, all right? Okay. Do math. You Are you good at math? What, what did you get on? <laughs> with all due respect, what did did you pass math in high school? Yeah, yeah, I did. And, and how did. do you know LeBron was alone? I never <laughs> said he was you were alone. You're about bringing four people for a sixty-five dollar bill, and you left thirteen dollars. You left twenty yeah, percent. You're bragging right now. Uh, exclusive article on it. No, I'm saying His <laughs> Highness out tipped the king. There's another king. It's called LeBron James. You're, you're, you're the king. His Highness out tipped the king. This was, this was a battle. This was a royal battle. Have you ever it's watched the WWF battle. when they have a royal battle? <laughs> okay. Well, how many people was LeBron with? Three. You got the chance. Make up something good, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, don't care if he was alone with his hand on his fucking four-inch cock. The fact is, it's a numbers <laughs> game. All right? It's a numbers game. You had four it's people on 20% game. in your back. And I also game. say this for the record. My dick's twice the size of LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, change the subject, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John. What's your... Uh, more of these originals. I yeah. want to know what your movie's about. Oh, yeah, you're filming a movie. What start. are you filming? Yeah, I, I never, I never revealed it. I never let the camera. <laughs> oh, okay. Until it's done. All right, that makes otherwise sense. Otherwise, they shut me down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good one. It's, a, it's wait, not. Wait, wait, a... Give me a couple more callers before I hop on this flight. All right, all right. Um, all right. Uh, hey, Jimmy in Staten Island. Morning. Jimmy. Hey. Good morning, boys. Hey, Hi, Jimmy. How you doing, Jimmy? His Highness, how can one become a washwoman cunt like him and make a fortune? Does he have a seminar? Can, can I be like him? Boning different girls all around the place. Bullshit. How, how does one be like His Royal Highness? Yes. Jimmy, yes. I'll tell you what. What? You, you sound like a good guy. You sound astute. You sound like a student of the game of life. <laughs> I, I will take you one-on-one into my office, 
and I will change your life. I make Anthony Robbins, okay? I'm, it's like LeBron compared to Spud Webb. Spud and Webb. Then, uh, I remember Spud Webb. Yeah. Motivate and change your life. I kid you not. I've done that to many people. A motivational speaker? Yes. I've spoken <laughs> many times. I, I will... Look, I'll say this to any of these motherfuckers listening to your show. They all criticize me. If any of you motherfuckers with your hands on your dicks right now listening to the sexiest voice in radio can do it better than me, I'll be the first guy on my feet clapping. But until then, shut the fuck up, oh. eat your potato chips, and go to bed frustrated looking at your wife and thinking of his highness. Bravo. Wow, I don't know how God you come back from that. Ian, I'm sorry, but he got you, Jimmy. Ian fucking knows how to just own people. Ken from Greenlawn. Home of Harbor Fields High School. Oh. Uh, Ken, what's going on? Hey, not too much, guys. Hey, I'll bring you a cheap fuck. I want to know how you took out four people for dinner and only spent sixty-five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up on that. On or fry? In Miami, yeah. In Miami, In Miami of all Miami. places. What did you get for sixty-five bucks? Big Pink. I recommend the restaurant. The food was actually. Compared to the rest of the shit in South Beach, usually when I go out in South Beach when I'm there... Ian, I'm answer the question, rich. though. Yeah, really. you, you're cheap, man. you're, you're it's deflecting. It's 65 bucks for four people? Food. That's impossible. Four people, $65, and, and yes. no one had drinks? Google the menu. Google it, dude. Google it. Google it. I will Google, Google it. it. And you'll see what I'm talking what's about. The, what's the name of the restaurant? Big Pink. Somehow when you Google Big Pink, other shit comes up. Yeah. <laughs> wow, does a lot of other shit come up. Yeah. yeah. What'd you guys eat? Did everybody have just bread sandwiches, a meatloaf, something? Okay, yeah, we want, we want a plate of fries, <laughs> and one piece of pie, and we extra whipped cream on it. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. You're getting one of the best meals you'll... It's I, probably I McDonald's or something. Anyone. The food was fresh. All right, let me, go to, let me go to Vinny in Brooklyn. Uh, Vinny. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey. Good morning, your ass holiness. <laughs> yes, yes, Vinny Barbarino. Oh, I'm damn. Rachel, dude, tell me some I'm jokes a, that are new. Okay, I'm, I'm an extra on the set where Ian says he's filming, okay. but he doesn't want to reveal it. He's doing a gay porn. Oh, he's shit, Ian. Bang, bang, by 10 black guys with 19-inch cocks, and he's getting oh. it every, in every orifice he has. <laughs> Oh. oh, I've been to yeah, that place. You, it's, it's, it's you taking it up the ass, in the mouth, in the ear, and I'm just directing traffic, so... No, you're uh, not, buddy. You're the one that's you're taking everything. You're a fucking good job, Vinny Barbarino. Like the, like the other Vinny Barbarino, John Travolta, you're as gay as a... Th queer as a $3 bill. Wow! Oh. Uh, what what listen, the hell are you implying I, there? I, at least I could admit that I'm homosexual and I'm proud of being gay, but, buddy, you're no. just taking it every listen, which way you don't can. turn me on. I'm telling you right now, all right? Yeah, I've played a lot of gay characters. Prove it, Ian. Films. Prove it. Exactly. I've, I've never got a hard on for anything <laughs> fucking, you know, more feminine, you know, more masculine See? than uh, Humpty Dumpty. So. Yo, stop, stop <laughs> saying you're taking in the ass for 25 cents a pop and you know that you fuck. Oh, yeah. The yeah. appetizers are like nine oh, bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. All right, all right. He's off. Thank you, uh, Brooklyn. All right, shut up. We're looking at the menu. You told us to look at the menu. Starters and snacks are like nine bucks, thirteen. On this menu, I want fucking brunettes. What's the cheapest thing you can get? Four people. Let's do some easy math for everybody. Yeah. So if everyone got a lousy garden salad, that's eight bucks a pop. That's that's thirty-two dollars in salads alone, Ian. Bowl of chili is only five dollars. Bowl of chili. Uh. So what do you guys have at the Big Pink? All right, I'll tell you. One guy had the grouper. Ah, uh, where's the grouper? I had I had the cob salad and soup. It was a combo. Okay. Another person had a burger, <laughs> and the other one had a salad. All right, the grouper <laughs> is fourteen twenty-five. <laughs> grouper is fourteen twenty-five. Right, fourteen twenty-five, right there. All right, we're ready. Now let's keep track. Cob salad. Cob salad. Soup, soup combo. Uh, combo. Cob salad is twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for the cob That's salad. What's the next? What? Thing? I had that. Half and half, half and half. It's nine ninety five. Oh, half salad. Yeah, no, that's impossible. Because um, half the cob salad would be <laughs> six bucks or so, right? Soupy salad. All right, maybe. All right, combo okay. for nine ninety five. All right, there, so there's taxes thing? involved too. Okay. All right, we'll allow his nine ninety five. Right. So the, grouper and cob salad. Then the here? burger. Burger, just a regular burger. Yeah, one burger. Cheeseburger, right? Uh, no, it wasn't cheese. Veggie? Uh, 10 big, big pink burger is 10 50 Round up to 11 All right, and what was the other guy? And another salad. What, what kind, kind of salad? 
Well, with chicken strips on top. <laughs> you know. I love how Ian's got tell us what they all ate. <laughs> It's all right, the dumbest radio chicken ever. Chicken topping salad. All right, and and what about drinks? And uh, what about appetizers? Do you, you share some no, poppers no or something? Dude, it's fucking eleven thirty. About twelve dollars for the chicken I mean, salad. Twelve dollars for the chicken all right, salad. Well, did you have appetizers? Did you share something while you waited uh, for your food to come you out? Don't, you don't get in shape like His Highness by eating appetizers. I understand. I'm sorry uh, well, that I I asked. Uh, what well, a little dessert. Did you guys uh, get any sodas? Sodas. What'd you drink? Um, I, I actually I think the lady with us she had one. Uh, one crown. So she did have a drink. A crown? Yeah. All right. All right, one crown. What the fuck is a crown? Right. Yeah, I think that's right, about think. it. Oh. Let's do the math here. All right. I have the bill somewhere right here. Let's get... You know what? Let me dig it up, man. Well, it's 48 without drinks or dessert. And tax. tax. And tax. We're, we're, we're close. Yeah, yeah, we are close. Yeah, we're pretty we're close. Sixty-five, twelve. Sixty-five, twelve. So you know, look at that. Maybe somebody else had a soda. I have no idea, man. His and and you left. And you left. How much for a tip? Thirteen. So forty-eight and thirteen is sixty-one. Why couldn't you leave the eighty? No, 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 no. It was sixty-five, twelve. The bill. So why did you leave thirteen? Just yeah. leave eighty. He's a Jew. Look, Probably. Look, a rod, uh, man. A rod. Don't you round up and just go fuck out here? Here's eighty. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. I do the Who math. Who doesn't do that? 65, 13. You know, I'm not Moses. I'm His Highness. His <laughs> Highness lives 20%. Well, his numbers do work out. You fucking chicks on this phone? Uh, his numbers are. did work out, by the way. Oh, sure. One of the movies, uh, uh, one of the... Uh, we have to go, right? Yeah. All right. I, uh, we got to go in a second here, but one of the yeah. guys that is in uh, the movie that you're making there, Ian, uh, welcome yeah. to the show, King Dong. King Dong. Good morning, boys. How you doing? <laughs> hey, King Dong. I just wanted to talk to my little bitch, Ian. How you doing, baby? Yo, King, you know, yo, I, I hope you're better than the stiff LeBron James. You know, it's a blessing, New York. Well, of course you call his ass a stiff bitch. You ain't nothing but a little ATM machine on our set, yo. Yeah. Yeah, keep going, King. Keep going. I absolutely will, because that's what you have. All right, I think we're done. Oh, my God. Ian, we love you. Yes, your yeah, highness. I love you guys, man. Just think of me tonight while I'm getting a lap dance from this Louisiana chick. Everyone whack off about 8.16 p.m. because she's going to be in my hotel room. <laughs> and I, I send out love to everyone out there. I love everyone. Thank you, you, Your Highness. Everyone success. I wish everyone success, all the success and happiness in the world. And to all you motherfuckers who are married and said the vows, hey, you might as well be in your grave right now. Wow. Thing to be, having a Damn. Grave. All right, blow everyone you kisses, know, Ian. Listen to your show. Blow everyone kisses go. now. Kisses. Kisses for everybody. Yeah, I, I blow kisses to everyone. You guys are the number one fucking <laughs> show in the world. Thank you, you know, Ian. Howard Stern, but I think you guys are ahead of him right now. Your Highness. You, man. Thank right. you, sir. There goes His Highness. Always a pleasure.